Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just uh, installed Maya 2025. It just recently came out. And um, for anyone who is wondering, uh, how am I running Maya 2025? Uh, if you are an indie, uh, what's considered an indie uh, developer or an artist, um, you can get Maya for um, $300 a, uh, a year. And that's the subscription that I'm on and I've always have been. An indie license just means you are making less than $100,000 a year as a studio or as an independent artist. So um, if you are in United States, I, I believe it uh, also depends where you're located, but um, you know, I'm in the United States, I actually live in California, so I qualify for the indie license and that's um, how I'm able to run it. So I just installed the 2025 version. So in here, uh, what's new, right? I'm in the new, what's new section. I can see that there's a smart extrude that was just added in Maya. And I wanted to just maybe sneak a peek with you guys uh, together and see what, it's, uh, what it is, right? So I'm gonna say new and uh, let's, uh, let's see what this is. So let, let me create a box. So I'll make a box and uh, let's do this. Let's go to our um, uh, attribute editor and let's just maybe uh, add some subdivisions right so I'll do let me do uh, five five and five so I'll do something like that all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press ctrl D and I'll make another copy of it and let me turn on my um, wireframe here so we can see uh, the difference between uh, here's the new icon right so I see the smart extrude and I see a normal extrude so the normal extrude right so let me uh, go into the face mode and let me select for example i'll select this row here so normal extrude if i grab the extrude um, and attempt to use it you can see that i can pull things out but i can push things in right so we all know that so if i wanted to do something um, let me press ctrl e if i wanted to push this in uh, obviously that's not going to work right uh, that's not how it works so uh, here's the new one and let's check out the new one so I'm going to do the same exact thing I'm going to select all of these let's press uh, smart extrude and now if I push this out that's exactly the same but if I start pushing this down you can see that it's on the fly actually uh, changing the topology of the model which is really really cool right I think you should you still gonna have to uh, insert um, some of the edges right to obviously fix the topology but uh, this is pretty cool so I can select this for example and do smart extrude and now I can just push this all the way through so you can quickly create uh, really interesting um, things this reminds me of almost like QMesh and ZBrush uh, kind of very similar and uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to start playing with this and see I wonder what the shortcut for this is if I go into modeling toolkit and hover over the smart extrude, right? It should tell me the shortcut. So the shortcut is shift uh, left mouse button. All right, so this is really cool. I wonder if you, uh, if you can punch a hole through. What happens if I select all of these? And uh, you can see there's, uh, the topology doesn't match, right? On the bottom here. It's completely different than the topology on top or the bottom. But uh, if I click on this smart extrude and attempt to push this down, it looks like I can uh, able to punch this uh, through, right? And uh, you can see that Maya will um, automatically retopologize itself. So that's actually really, really cool. All right, so I just wanted to show you this uh, new feature. And uh, if you get the chance to update your uh, Maya, you can, of course, play with it as well. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.